Hey guys, just made a Patreon page. If you're interested, check it out in the description below. What is up, everybody? It's Mr. Arrow HD here, back with our last double upload day of Valed Ins. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you're excited. Next week, we are back to completely normal video schedule. Um, I'm gonna be burpy. I just ate dinner. But, um, we're not gonna, I don't know if we're gonna do all seven days, but I definitely have some series ideas that are just more than just car builds, which I'm excited to be doing once more. Anywho, this is the Porsche 997, or 996 GT3, sorry. Um, this, of course, was del uh, delivered. That was delivered to me on a plate per plate. No, it was, it was, oh boy, it was downloadable in the Porsche expansion or Porsche expansion I'm talking like an idiot today um but I have this weird obsession with like picking drift cars that I know are kind of shitty um just so I can tune them and make them half decent uh it's kind of like if someone was playing a fighting game and like well I could be really good with this car or this character or I can pick this shitty one and be like just as good as everybody else but I'll have the satisfaction of knowing I'll be just as good as everybody else with a really bad character. Um, not that there's anything wrong with drifting a Porsche. If you like drifting a Porsche, that's cool. You, 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 you do, you, boo boo. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. But you have to accept and respect the fact that a mid end or rear engine car is not as good as a front engine car. But it does make for a fun drift car, honestly. Um, the thing is super quick. Very stable on the rear end, um, and, you know, uh, just really fun to drive. However, quite a bit of trade-offs if you've never driven a rear engine car before or drifted a rear engine car before. Number one, a lot of weight in the rear, obviously. Some people aren't ready for that. You know, your transitions aren't going to be as fast, or they might be too fast. Um, it definitely is going to feel like it's lumbering in the rear a little bit. Uh, it's 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 going to feel completely different to the s13 that you've been driving for example um it's not like the hardest drift car oh and because of the engines on the rear tires um there's a lot of rear grip like a lot so you may have to run more horsepower than you're used to i'm almost running 700 here um just because there's so much rear grip um and you can't just like run shitty tires to to counteract that because you still need the front grip um, and you can't run just wider front tires and skinnier rear tires because you still need balance all around. It's a really unfortunate circumstance, but it's just solved with throwing fucking turbos on the goddamn thing. Um, so this car in specific, I'm gonna say this applies to many of the Porsches from this era. I don't know if it applies from the newer ones because again, I haven't drifted them yet. But this one is fairly decent. You just can't go real crazy with the angle. You gotta enter very conservative and kind of pour the angle on as you go. You can't whip it in like an S13 or whatever and throw a bunch of angle and be like, oh yeah, look at how big my deck is. You know what I mean? You kind of have to just really ease into it. And then if it looks like you can throw on more angle, then you go for it. But if you can't, then you can just stay where you are. Uh, also, because of the engine is in the back, especially we were on Rio there, uh, little bumps are gonna fuck your day up, man. They are gonna, they're not fun at all. Um, you just gotta be ready. And again, it's not like it's gonna ruin it, your drift. It's not like be like, oh, I hit a bump. That's it. I'm putting my controller down. I'm leaving. I'm le I'm walk walking away. No, that's not how uh, this works. You just kind of have to be ready for it. As long as you've mentally prepared yourself for anything that comes your way in some, one of these cars, you'll be fine. There's, you're not gonna do as well points wise but who really cares anyway you're not going to do as well as somebody let's say in a camaro or whatever but i personally think in my humble opinion that it is more fun for me to go online because these cars don't tandem very well either because there is all that weight and because you kind of have to keep the wheels spinning you can't like back off and just kind of settle in behind somebody i'm sure you could it's just not as easy um but when you're driving alone especially on something easy to drive like uh, Catalonia School or something, it's way more fun to have a car like this than, let's say, a, a, a 350Z or Z uh, or something like that. But that's just me. 
Thank you guys very much for watching. We got one more video today and then a little bit of a special one tomorrow. And then we are back to, we're taking the weekend off and then back to regular scheduled programming on Monday. Thank you guys very much for watching. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also consider becoming a patron at my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Want to follow me on social media? Or want to hear the song that you heard in the video? Please check the description.